Hi everyone, it's Danny from Market Nature. Okay, my viewer Francesca has asked me quite a few very interesting questions and uh, I would like to make some videos for her which each and every question in its own video. I find them very interesting topics so thank you so much for sending them in. I'll start with the topic of decorative pots and how to use them with orchids because I did want to make this video. Recently I started using decorative pots for some very good reasons. So this video will be about how to use decorative pots with orchids, what orchids, how to properly choose a decorative pot and so on. Now I did make a video a while back about decorative pots and I told you that I'm not sure how good they are for orchids but I was referring to Phalaenopsis orchids because their roots are photosynthesizing so if they don't receive enough light they will just grow yellow. It doesn't mean they will die, it will just um, not be such a great root system or at least this is my opinion but I've discovered that with some other types of orchids like Oncidiums, Miltoniopsis and Miltonia and Bellaras and all intergenerics the decorative pots are actually not doing that much harm and can actually save you so I'll give you my reasons for starting to use decorative pots now there are some very important reasons for uh, using decorative pots, in my case at least. First of all, I am so tired of bumping into my orchids. The lightest move can actually make them go, go down on the floor. And bark media and uh, light media that we use with orchids always spills on the floor. And also I am breaking flower spikes and leaves and so on. So I am sick and tired of that. And a decorative pot can be a great support for that if you bump slightly into your orchid most probably it will not fall to the ground and uh, yeah that's a plus with decorative ceramic decorative pots um, they can keep your orchid much more stable especially if you have a narrow environment or growing area like I do so for me that was a huge bonus in using decorative pots Another super good reason why I want to use decorative pots is my very dry and airy and um, warm environment during summer times. Now, as you may know, I've been away and uh, my mom, which tended to my orchids, did a very good job, but she couldn't necessarily water them every two days like I used to water them. And most of my orchids got very dehydrated. And when an orchid is suffering for some reason, maybe dehydration, it is more prone to diseases and virus um, attacks. An orchid can have a virus dormant and never show because it gets a good life. But if it's dehydrated or very suffering at some point, it might take over the plant. It's just like humans. If you have a uh, low immunitary system, um, the virus can create havoc in your system and it's the same thing with orchids so keeping them hydrated is a bonus is a it's a very important thing with with orchids so a decorative pot can keep the moisture in for longer and I don't have to water every two days and there's another reason I really don't want to start to hate watering my orchids and get so tired of it so a decorative pot can keep the moisture in for longer especially if you have an environment which is dry and super airy and so on um, because maybe you cannot water every day or every two days or every three days maybe you're good with watering every five days or so which is much more decent so that's another very strong reason why I use decorative pots now and I ordered myself some more actually now the third main reason why I want to use a decorative pot is watering orchids actually. Now as you may know I don't like or I don't want to water them in the same water in the same bucket. I don't want to dip all the orchids in the same bucket because I don't want to transfer viruses and all sorts of things that my orchids might have. I'm very paranoid lately with that. So if each and every orchid of mine has its own decorative pot, at least the ones that are standing down, not hanged, um, I can come in with a watering can and just fill these containers with water, let them sink and then just dump the water in a bucket and throw it away. This way the orchid is receiving its own uh, water, especially if it's fertilized water. And um, yeah, I will not transfer anything from an orchid to the other. Um, with using the same water so again it's a very important thing for me because um, I'm super paranoid with viruses lately and so on so in this method I can water very easy and very safe um, just using the decorative pot as a sort of a container to soak the actual orchid pot in 
And the fourth reason you might want to consider a decorative pot is that it looks pretty. Now, if you can adapt the color of your decorative pot with your environment, it's not my case, obviously, um, but if you can, it will be a great addition and um, it can contribute to the Zen mood that an orchid can give you and it can be very relaxing. But that's a whole different story and it depends on your taste. So these were my main practical reasons for using decorative pots at the moment. I'm still experimenting with them, but um, yeah, my logic tells me that they should work just great, especially in my summertime. Okay, now let's talk about how to choose the proper decorative pot for your orchid. Okay, let's get an issue out of the way. When you're using a decorative pot, you need to pay attention to the actual color. Now, if you use a very dark color, like a dark brown or even black, black is the worst, or just very dark colors, they will attract light and they will get heated up and they can actually cook the roots of your orchid. So if you want to use a decorative pot, go for any other color. If you want to use whites or light colors, they are the greatest. Because um, we have an orchid that needs to receive sun and the sun will hit the decorative pot if it's a very dark color It will get so hot like you will not believe so be careful that you choose any other color Maybe a pastel color a light color um, So you don't cook the orchids roots Next you need to think about the actual size of your orchid pot so try to go with a decorative pot which is a bit larger than your actual orchid pot. Try to have a bit of space here between the side of the actual orchid pot and the decorative pot. This will ensure some aeration to the roots so you don't go to the other side and actually suffocate the roots of the orchid. This is a better example. You see I have quite a lot of space here. This will work as well. And also if you're using holes on the sides of the pot like I do, it will still get aerated even in a decorative pot like this. So I'll show you an example of how not to choose a decorative pot. Now try not to find decorative pots that will not leave any space between the actual orchid pot and uh, the walls of the decorative pot. As you can see here, there is practically no space here. Um, the orchid pot fits in it, but there is no space between. This means that the roots are not getting any air from the sides, and this can be quite dangerous sometimes. Um, it can suffocate the roots, it can retain too much water, you know, it can go on the other side. So use this decorative pot with a smaller orchid pot just to leave that little bit of space between the rims. So this would be an example of how not to use the decorative pot. This can be quite dangerous, as I said, so try to go for a bigger decorative pot. And of course, make sure that there is no water left on the bottom of the decorative pot because it will um, evaporate much slower than in a saucer or something like that. So when you're watering your orchids, drain it very well and uh, when you see no water is dripping from your pot, you can place it in the decorative pot. So don't let a pool of water stand in your decorative pot. And uh, that's about it on decorative pots. Bottom line is you need to think about your environment and try it out and see if it works. The orchids that I think will do best in decorative pots are Oncidium type orchids and orchids that do like quite a bit more water. Now, of course, if you have a Calia orchid, which is planted only in bark medium, decorative pots can be used as well because bark medium does not retain that much water that much moisture so I think you can use it as well with Phalaenopsis orchids I am not sure what to say so um, I decided just to hang them most of my Phalaenopsis are hanged the ones that I still have and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use decorative pots with them I think I'll just hang them and uh, you know use containers other containers to water them um, it will still be much easier than using containers and washing them after soaking each orchid and uh, so on so yeah that's my um, twist on decorative pots I am testing them and uh, maybe I'll let you know how it goes further on but I really don't think I'll have any issues just as long as you provide uh, some space here and still some aeration and you know the side holes in the orchid pot the water will still evaporate. If however you have a very cold and humid environment and maybe your decorative pot is kind of tight maybe they really are not such a good idea. So you need to experiment and if you want to use decorative pots, I think you can use them um, if you are like me and suffer for, from um, a lack of time, let's say, of watering them and a better solution of watering them and just dry environment and so on. They can actually save the orchid. Why not? 
Um, so try to keep your orchid healthy by keeping it hydrated and aerated at the same time. Okay, so hopefully I um, shed some light on the subject. I hope you found this useful and interesting. And uh, thank you for sending in the suggestion. So if you guys have any other questions or suggestions for videos, just leave me a comment and I will try to make a video for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. So thank you for joining and don't forget to visit orchinature.com as well to uh, meet our whole community. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye!